Sorry? Is it blasphemous for those images to be shown? I am not talking about blasphemy here. You are. I am talking to you about the reason... The reason uh, the my cinema reason, no, my reason, Nigel, oh, if you want to just talk reason, through and not answer the question, yes. then I'm afraid uh, uh, you my, look to everybody doing this simple. right now You've invited as somebody who is not prepared is, to face up to the challenge. I will repeat, stu- finally, and for the last time, that a cinema, a cinema in Bolton and other branches around the country has closed because there were people outside protesting loudly with placards and perhaps it was felt in a threatening way to staff and people wanted to go and see this film who were saying openly and clearly that it was blasphemous for images of the prophet or indeed his daughter Fatima to be shown in a British cinema. Now I'm not suggesting that is the view of all Muslim people living in Britain but I'm asking you do you think that is blasphemous? I'm saying something very simple. I'm not interested in blasphemy. I don't think blasphemy exists within Islam. That's my view, very simply. Well, you've what do you me, say then? Well, what do you I, say Nigel, then? you've asked me a question. Give me the yeah. chance well, to so, answer. So you've said no. Nothing. You've said no, and I accept your answer of no. You, you, so what you do you want, say you to, understand the to your fellow religionists is, who think Islam it is blasphemy? Islam is stoking up sectarian t- attention, and it sounds yeah. like you're relishing it. Don't I tell you what, I am going to ask. I mean, how can you? Did you know I'm going to ask the executive producer of the film, but I will put... The I most negative way possible. charges and you're to you. At, no, you're you don't want to have a debate. Becoming, you want to avoid debate. And I'm very sorry. Freedom, I've given you the opportunity. You want to talk about the Holocaust is, and many other things. And I think in the interest of open debate on GB News, we will choose to end the interview here and now. Thank you very, very honest with you. Uh, on the matter of Sheikh Al-Habib, the writer of The Lady of Heaven, he's a very well-known cleric with large following across the globe. And uh, he's a historian, he's a, uh, he's a researcher into Islamic history, and he's put forward this narrative, uh, as being the writer of this film, he's put forward the narrative of, of Lady Fatima. Uh, the film, what it is, Nigel, this film is the life story of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. She's a, a beloved figure to all Muslims across the world. Uh, you know, we spent one year in pre-production uh, going through the historical text with the guidance of His Eminence, Sheikh Al-Habib, uh, as a historian, to depict her life. That's all it is. Uh, these these claims of it being uh, blasphemy because of showing the Prophet, yeah. uh, that's just nonsense. Uh, there's two reasons why that's nonsense, actually. First reason is that this whole topic of showing the Prophet is a contested issue across the Muslim world. You, wherever you go, every corner of the Muslim world, you'll find a different um, understanding and interpretation. In many places in the Middle East, you'll find artistic uh, endeavors of portraying the Prophet. So it's not as black and white as these pro-Taliban, pro-ISIS groups have made it out to be and bullied the world to believe. It's not the truth. And from our side, from our perspective, uh, it's, very, it's, it's very normal to portray the Prophet as long as you portray him in a, a, in a proper manner. But Malik, and, uh, as, a, the, as, a, as a British Muslim, Malik, you understand that British culture is that all criticisms and all religious leaders are open to question, open to mockery. I, I, you, know, you know how things work. What is it? I mean... What is it that has made... Yes, what, is, what is it that has made people in Bolton and elsewhere go and protest in the street against this film? But are we dealing with a form of Islamic extremism here? Is that what we're fighting? So that's my point, Nigel. It's not actually about the depiction of the prophet. They're using that. I mean, they are offended about that, but that's not actually the main issue. The main issue is that this history, uh, you know, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't claim, and we've never claimed to try to portray a very over romanticized, fluffed up version of history. We're tackling history, particularly Islamic history. You know, and myself being a Muslim, and myself being from a Sunni background, also, we're tackling yeah. Islamic history as it is. We want to discuss history openly and look back at what happened because uh, there is a narrative in this film, although it is about the lady prim- primarily, it does uh, uh, tackle this issue of the roots of these terrorist groups. That's the truth. And these groups, uh, if you actually go look around on the videos online spreading now uh, that are going viral, you'll find these groups, uh, there's a lot of known names there that are known to be pro Taliban. Uh, uh, pro-ISIS, oh even God. some of them holding up uh, photos of uh, ISIS uh, members, well-known, famous ISIS heroes. So it's not a secret. And you can go on their platforms online. They're always uh, posting about Taliban. So they don't want this history to be spoken about. They don't want this discussion. No, and, 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 and hey, you know, all historical films and interpretations will have differences. Hey, we question the crown and whether all of that's accurate, for goodness sake. Final thought, yeah. quick final thought. Will this film finish up being banned by all cinema chains in this country? 
I mean, that's for them to decide. I say, firstly, thank you to the protesters because they've done a huge uh, publicity stunt for us and it's got the film to a much wider <laughs> audience than we ever could. Uh, in terms of the cinemas, my message to the cinemas and to the British community as a whole is do not cower down to these people. They are, they have, it's, it's empty threats. They have no authority to dictate what we as British people can and cannot watch in the cinema. Anyone wants to disagree with the film, we're happy to discuss. We're happy to, for you to express yourself, but do so within the bounds of the law. Do so respectfully. Do not try yeah, to censor absolutely. others from expressing their views uh, for or against. We have no issue. I thank you very much indeed for coming on and joining this debate and thank you.